Bom dia, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Tai Hutu. Today's very short TA video because I'm going to go to a water park with the kids. They want to have some fun today, but I'm going to make a short TA video about the Bitcoin chart because I see something playing out and you can agree with me or not, but you need to leave that down below in the comments. Also, three other really cool charts, three, three, three other really cool charts. Uh, that will show you some beautiful insights in what is happening to Bitcoin. Let's jump into the charts very quickly. Bang. the 10 minutes short this is the four hour chart on ourx on this four hour chart i told you um, a few times we had that dollar line we need to break that line and stay above it we tried it over there over here we went up to the red box we came down we should have retested it and gone up we didn't we fell down to the bottom of that um, channel that we see the reddish channel now we can see the same we went up we are retesting now and now we should go up again to find that red box at 40k if we don't do that in my opinion we could have this other alternative of falling back down to that red bottom of the channel around 26k at the moment that is very bearish but the channel is drawn like this just like a few touch points so it's not like very accurate few touch points on the top as well not very accurate but that could happen i am still in favor of this pattern why i'm going to also delete this line now because that is going to and you need to knock <laughs> bring bad luck why because i can also see this w pattern here which means that we normally should extend to the top again and yes in that extension we can have a retest so this is what I think um, that is going on. I'm not going to show you the bam bam indicator today um, because I just really don't have the time. I can quickly just show you if the bam um, said that we need to short and there was the short flag. Uh, still green, no crossing over there. That this is the crossing. So it could be a beautiful short all the way up to that green, but not talking about that today because I really don't have time. Um, let's jump into the next chart. This one, bam. This is the weekly chart. On the weekly chart, we can see the same. The top should be hitting this line. Um, we fell down really bearish with this round top, and we are coming back to this line over here. We should come and close, in my opinion, above this line over there, that grayish line. And that's around 30, let's see, exactly 37,500. I would love to see a close of the week, so that's next Sunday, above 37,500. That uh, is not uh, very important. Tomorrow is the close of the monthly. Let's jump into the next chart. Bam, yeah, really moving fast. Ah, that was the monthly chart. I already had the set ready. Um, on the monthly, finding support on that red line. And yes, also support on the box. And that box is always the support. And that support of the box is one and a half times the previous all-time high so the all-time high of here 1200 1700 was well, 1700 800 1800 was the bottom of that box all-time high of 20k 30k is the bottom of the box now beautiful and lying with that red line so let's see if we find support and we can climb up again to that top hill yes on the bottom you can see as well here the nvt is slowly still going up we are not seeing bam this downward trend that we saw there 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 no we are still climbing up still positive in my opinion next chart bam this one is also showing you this um you know this is the bitcoin energy value um and like you can see this drop in july we already talked about many times about it we see that drop now again a little bit early in june but it's becoming july so we can drop a little bit more into july and then look this is all the red area in the bull run of 2017 and this whole red area that we see over here in the bull run of 2017 that is taking a long time that's taking from january all the way to december now now again 
we have um, this red area from around January but we are now only in July so that could take all the way to December again and if it would take till December then I expect that this one is going to also like move like this and also peak there in December which would also be for me a price increase till December bam and that is what we can see in this chart we can see that the Bitcoin inflows um, on the chart uh, they have been ah, that's good did you? your face was small during the whole video Oh, did I say fuck it? Yeah. So that we can see here, indeed, um, the glass node, you can see very beautifully that every time these green peaks come, this is the peak of tether inflows, tether inflows. And if you have these tether inflows, the price increases. And the strange thing I saw is that it almost takes always 30 days. Let's zoom into this part there. And if we take a look now at this tether inflow over here, the tether inflow is on the 3rd of February. The next peak in the Bitcoin price was then reached on the 21st of February. That's like almost three weeks, two and a half weeks. And if we look here again, this one, this one was on the May 19th. And then the next peak in Bitcoin, because that was at the bottom that we started to flow in, was somewhere around here. Ah, here, sorry. Was somewhere around here. The 3rd of June, also two and a half weeks. And then this peak over there, May 30th, also to here, June 15 also almost two and a half weeks now we again saw this huge tether inflow on the 24th of 4th of June so if we would calculate two more weeks or two and a half weeks we, we would come around the 11th of July that we should see another peak in the Bitcoin price if you know it follows up like it is following up here every time again and now I'm going to jump into the last two charts bam over here yes these are the glass no charts um, why do I want to show you this because on these charts you can beautifully see the stock to flow uh, ratio um, like you can see in every bull run stock to flow ratio when it turns light green we are nearing the top when it turns light green we are nearing the top the darkish green this one over here that's not that, that wow wow darkish green over there and the darkish green over there is the beginning of the bull run we see darkish green we still need to see light green going up like that in my opinion so for me yes light green still needs to be somewhere coming here if we look at this model it's giving me mixed signals and that is what is happening now to the whole market in my opinion bam it's a lot of mixed signals nobody knows exactly what's going to happen and in those periods that we don't know what is going to happen you try to multiply your bitcoins by trading and that is why we have the bam bam the TikTok indicator even the bfat trading automatically for you because we need to make sure we multiply our bitcoins and why because that we know that every time when we buy bitcoins and hold it for four years it will be profitable so every time when we buy bitcoins and we hold it for four years we are profitable and that is what this model is showing you whenever you bought if you held four years you would be in profit if you bought over here let's see if you would have bought over here at the top of 2014 and you would have held four years look 2018 you would have been profit if you bought the top over there in 2018 17 and you would hold four years 17 to 21 you would still be in profit so that is why you need to multiply your bitcoins always 24 7 every day of the year just try to multiply your bitcoins and hold those for four years and, and not all of them of course yes i agree with you biggest part you hold and a small part you trade um, i hope you really enjoyed this short video if you didn't show uh, <laughs> <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment. What do you think about these charts? Are we going bullish or are we going bearish? I want to see of my followers who is bullish, who is bearish. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you later again. Else, I will see you tomorrow in a more longer TA video because now I'm going to have fun with the kids. Bam.